women's 3,000 meters steeplechase. So, four of the hurdles, the wooden hurdles, around plus one water. Gribe. Start. Habiba Gribe of Tunisia. And then from Spain, Maria Ubina. Turkey's uh, Oslem Kaya. Slovenia's Marus, Marusa Mismas. 9.35 for Mismas. That's a pretty good score. We're looking at the Spanish girl here. This is uh, Irene Sanchez. 9.40 for her. Sanchez is being announced there. And Gega is on our screen. Luisa Gega, Albania. Gega, 9.22. Ooh, that's a super, super score. So Gega could well be the favorite for this one. And that was uh, Francesca Petoni. Chainers on the inside for Algeria. The, the African nations of the Mediterranean always got great reputation in long distance running but I have to say looking at the uh, the options for me to discuss here Louisa Gega appears to be the one to beat 922 very very impressive seven and a half laps of the track you see they're starting on the opposite side here we go and then we'll try to identify them the best we can but, uh, It's going to be easy, the first elements driving into the lead is Urbina. And, uh, well, Gega there, that's uh, the favorite from Albania. Wants to keep the pace as she wants it kept. The hurdle, they will certainly miss the first uh, hurdle. They won't be stepping on it, I don't think. But, um, Steady pace and uh, quite aggressive from Luisa Gega. There you go. They will go oh, and step onto the top of the water hurdle. That's for sure. Gribi, Habiba Gridi is in second place for Tunisia. Four of those hurdles and they do interrupt. You can add quite a lot to a 3,000 meter mark without those hurdles. She looks very, very comfortable. Just trying to get the pace is the, uh, the big challenge. I think it's Miss Mas in third place at the moment. And you can hear the crowd crying for Sanchez to come forward. There's first water. And already Gribi coming strongly to try back to the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Miss Mas in third. Gribi in second. And Luisa Gega of Albania steadies her pace just a little bit before going for the hurdle. And again, China there coming up on the outside. And I think Morocco's Saud. Aumaina Saud is uh, in picture as well. She's uh, been overtaken now. But it definitely is opening up a little bit. On the top, a meter and a half back from the end of the water. And there you go. It was originally started, this particular event, after the horse racing steeplechase. They decided to let humans do exactly the same. It's very interesting history. She's keeping up a lovely pace here. Have a look at that. Three, zero, three. Six. Well, it's, the gap has really, really opened up now. The photographer's there, wants the shot over the, uh, the water. And the top three places have almost been uh, decided already. Look at the four-minute mark. They're uh, 
coming up to halfway. And it's a very, very impressive Louisa Gega. She's got no trouble. She's on her own. She's got her own watch and her own mental approach here. Actually, that was uh, lap four. I called it five before. That was lap four. Luisa Gega of Albania, 9.22 is her best. And she is certainly holding form at the moment. But uh, Habiba Gribi from Tunisia doing a really good job hanging in there about uh, 10 meters back despite uh, looking much closer with this shot. Still got uh, a lot of making up to do. But it's not 10, it's probably eight, eight meters difference. But back in third place at the moment, and Miss Mas has dropped off the pace, and she may well fall back into the pack. So there is a chance for the others to come and take a medal. Although Miss Mas still holding on to her position, she is being caught slowly, quietly. And uh, really, the only excitement at the moment in this 3,000 meter steeplechase for women is the third place challenge. Luisa Gega out in front and holding that position with uh, consummate ease. 5.43 at the moment. We've gone past the halfway stage. And actually, that graphic on the top of uh, the screen is the laps to go. I've only just realized that. But, uh, three laps to go. It's a tough, tough competition, this. You really do need to put in the miles and miles of training, but at a pace on the track like this, it's very, very difficult, very tough. R women actually used to run 2,000 meters, so I warned you that uh, Ms was going to be, Ms. Maz was uh, in danger of being caught, and it is the Spanish girl that's getting a lot of support here. Very, very good. She's now come through and is actually taking over that third spot. It's not actually complete at the moment, but it looks like the gold medal will be just a formality here at the moment with just two laps to go. And Luisa Gega has done fantastically well. And it looks like Orbina Urbina has uh, taken over third, but it, uh, Ms. Maz is trying to hang in here. No one else is contending for the medals at the moment. Spain's Maria Urbina is in third. But look at Gega opening up even more now. She's striding out beautifully, feeling that she has a lot to prove with uh, one and a half laps remaining. Gribi is on her own in second place. The tall Tunisian has a rhythmical attitude as well, but is not going to make any impression, holding her position. And just one more of those water jumps to go. And she would have completed the race and be on the homeward stretch for the gold. Coming up to eight minutes now, she crosses the final hurdle on the last of the straights. Four more of those hurdles, one more water. And here, she'll get the bell. There it is. One more lap to go. And the crowd very excited by the fact that there is a Spanish girl contending and competing for the bronze. And she is there out on her own. Ms. In fact, has been overtaken by the second Spanish girl. So Ms. Maz from Slovenia has uh, dropped back in the pack. And we've got two Spanish girls, Urbina and Sanchez, in uh, third and fourth place, respectively. Gega, well, she took control of this race from the start. She controlled the pace. She has the pedigree of the good uh, measure of this uh, 3,000 meter race. She knew exactly how to pace herself and she's just coming home. Her best time so far is 9.22. That is not in danger, I can tell you that. She's not being pushed. She'll be outside that time. 
But this is a very, very impressive Albanian gold medal for Luisa Gega. And here she comes, way on her own. 9.22, 23 and counting. And that is a games record, 9.27.76 for Luisa Gega. Coming in second place, Abiba Gribi. And just look at that. Was that a big fight back by uh, Ms. Maz? My goodness me, she looked as if she'd lost it. And uh, Marusa Mismas, I think, from Slovenia, came through unbelievably well. Well, she did surprise me, I have to say. Luisa Gega celebrates a record, a games record there. The games record by Amina Batish as 9.40 back in Mersin. That was the last time the Mediterranean Games were held. But disappointment there for Urbina, I believe. I'm not certain it was Ms. Maz. I can't believe that she would fall back in the pack. It may well have been uh, one of the other girls, perhaps even Saud from uh, Morocco, but I'll have to wait for confirmation of that. Luisa Gega gets the flag. Albania have won the 3,000 meter steeplechase for women. Well, let me just break out by saying Gega there, Albania, no problem at all with winning the gold medal. She was absolutely superb. And uh, of course, Habibi, uh, Habiba Griba was in second place, takes the silver.